All right, this is how you can use MIDI Relay to send MIDI data back into Companion. So if you want to then run a trigger or something on it. Um, so first of all, you need to be running the latest version of MIDI Relay. So as of this recording, that's MIDI Relay version 3.2.0. Uh, and you can see that we've added MIDI imports detected as well as the already existing MIDI outports detected. So I've added a new instance here of MIDI Relay in Companion and uh, you can see there's a few more settings here now so first of all I've got MIDI feedback enabled if I didn't have that enabled you wouldn't see these options um, and then I'm gonna choose the MIDI port coming back from MIDI relay that I want to listen to and then I have the option here to ignore MIDI channels and that basically says hey if I ignore it I'll listen to all the channel data or I can say I only want to listen to MIDI channel one or five or whatever uh, as far as updating the variables but I'm gonna leave that on ignore another option here is you can also use MIDI feedback as a companion satellite surface and whether you want to use all MIDI channels as individual surfaces or you can just choose um, to have uh, whichever specific uh, channel you're listening to uh, become a surface on its own and so I've got that turned on as for example you can see here I've got all of these surfaces are now showing up and that's one for every channel all 16 MIDI channels you can get uh, data coming back in and if you set the note offset that's what will represent button one so if I were to come in here to this surface let's say channel one and set it to page one whenever I press uh, note 36 it's going to want to trigger my first button on that page so that's just another way you can do that if you don't want to do triggers or whatever you can use them as satellite surfaces so i'm going to hit save and if i come over to buttons variables uh, you can see here this is my last midi data that came in so i'm going to use this app here it's called vmpk it's just a simple way to test midi on a mac and so if I hold down a note here, you can see it says it's a note on. That's a C5, uh, velocity 127. Let go, it becomes a note off. So you can see here, you can quickly use this for triggers if you want to, or if you've got apps that send MIDI data, you can have MIDI Relay send that back to Companion to then trigger whatever you need to trigger in Companion. So here's an example of a pitch bend. So basically any any of the MIDI commands it will hear and send it back to MIDI Relay which will send it to Companion via this new module. So go check that out you guys this might be helpful if you're trying to use MIDI to control things in Companion.